In Northern Ireland, the police watchdog has found evidence of collusive behaviour by police in 11 murders by loyalist paramilitaries in Belfast in the 1990s. The inquiry examined the killings of five people in a bookmaker shop and six other fatal shootings. The police have apologised to the bereaved families. Our island correspondent Emma Vardy has more details. On a February afternoon in 1992, this was the scene at the Sean Graham bookmakers in Belfast, minutes after an act of sectarian carnage. Loyalist paramilitaries had burst in and shot dead five Catholics. There was a lot of customers in the shop, most of them dead for cover, but the men still opened back. The attack was carried out by the paramilitary group, the Ulster Freedom Fighters. Families of the victims have long claimed there was collusion between paramilitaries and security services. Thomas Duffin's father was one of those who'd been killed. This UFF gang were able to walk in as casually as you like, murdered five people, injured eight and walk out again and get away with it. Today, the report by the police ombudsman found it was unacceptable that police had used informants who were involved in crimes including murder. Eight of the agents involved were involved in these murders, paid for by the special branch and other agencies they were working for. There was the provision of live weapons to the killers and the provisions of weapons to the killers this constitutes, for clarity, an irrefutable systemic policy of collusion across our city. A number of police informants at the time were found to have been involved in the murder or attempted murder of 27 people. It was police job to make sure that when they engaged with informants that they probed, assessed and questioned what they were doing. And, and the continued use of informants whom police were aware or ought to have been aware were involved in serious criminality and murder is in my view unforgivable. My brother was only 22, an innocent victim. The report still brings up questions that haven't been answered and um, still need to be answered. The report also found that records were destroyed and the rifle used in the bookmaker's attack was donated to the Imperial War Museum. Northern Ireland's police service has offered an apology to families and says procedures have greatly improved over the last 30 years. But no one was ever convicted for what happened here. And now the government wants to end all prosecutions from the troubles. Today's report joins a number of others with similar findings involving ties between state security forces and paramilitaries. The scale of collusion in Northern Ireland's conflict is slowly becoming clear. Emma Vardy, BBC News, Belfast.